Hi, I'm Loy Futch with Shoreline Marine Products. I've been a certified marine mechanic for over 25 years, and I'm here today as Captain Weekend. Today I'm going to share a variety of easy boating projects that you can do yourself with the common tools that you've probably got in your toolbox right now. I'll be by your side every step of the way and together we'll install a variety of top quality Shoreline Marine products to get you back on the water faster. So let's get going. Grab your tools and I'll share my tips and tricks so you can easily install those new hot Shoreline accessory and replacement parts and be your own Captain Weekend. Hi, it's Lloyd, Captain Weekend with Shoreline Marine Products. A lot of times I night fish, have problems trying to see to tie my knots, digging my tackle box to figure out what I'm going to do. So I figured I'd put a LED light in so I'd at least be able to see what's going on at night. I chose a six inch LED light. It's actually blue. Keep the glare down a little bit. They make several different ones, different colors, green, blue, white really simple to mount. All it's going to take, drill, small drill bit, a little bit larger drill bit to get the wires through. Already comes with a hardware stainless steel screw so I don't have to worry about running out and finding screws for it. My drill gun with the Phillips tip bit, a little bit of sealant, make sure I seal the wherever I'm mounting it to, the holes that I'm mounting it to and seal the wires going through. Okay, going to decide where I want to mount it. I pretty much decided I want to put it here. That way I can light up my area where my tackle box is going to be sitting. Nice thing about this, the rubber grommet that just kind of cushions it wherever we mount it at has a nice little groove in case I want to run my wires out the side. Otherwise I can leave it straight out, drill a hole in the middle to where I'm going to put it, run the wires out of there, won't have to worry about pinching them, crushing them together where they short out or anything else. So I've decided that I'm going to put it here. I'll be able to run my lights right out the back. Take my drill, just give myself a little mark, drill my hole, all I want to do is just Tighten it up enough to where I can keep it still. Mark my other hole. Rotate it out of the way. I can just, basically all I'm doing here is starting this hole. Makes it easier to put in. Pull my other screw back out of it. Now I can lay it sideways, line up my holes, see exactly where I've got to mark my wires at. All right, now we're going to change bits. Line it up. Right in between. Throw my hole through, I can run my wires. One thing to help make things a lot cleaner when you're starting to put your sealant on here, if you run your wires in first before you put your sealant around, leave yourself a little bit of room, and put some goop around there, fills in the wires, little screw holes also. Then when you push your wire in and line your screws up, it'll pull that goop all the way into the screw, into the hole, and you won't have to worry about it oozing out or anything else. Then you can go run your screws down. Make sure you don't over tighten, you just want to have it nice and snug, and you're ready to go. All right, my light's installed. One thing extra I had to do run a couple of wires back to it with butt connectors on them to connect to the wire, B positive, battery positive to the switch, a ground wire coming from the negative side of the battery, 
hooked them up using heat shrink buck connectors, put some liquid electric tape on them to make sure they have a good seal and ready to go. We'll cover that in a different video on electrical, be it switches and wiring on the boat, and you'll be able to see exactly how we did that. But there it is. It took me five minutes to install the light, 10, 15 minutes to run the wires. I'm done, ready to go fishing at night.